Hi everyone, Miss Kathy here at Sturgis Public Library. We are on week two of our Tales and Tales summer reading program. And this week we are going to talk about animals from South America. Oh, I forgot to bring over my big map of South America to show you which continent it is. Last week we did North America and that's where the United States is. That's the country we live in. We're in the continent of North America. And we have Canada, um, United States and Mexico and then if you keep going farther south on our map you're going to be in South America the continent of South America um, oh, I was gonna try to tell you what all was there what places were there Chile is there Chile is there Ecuador is there Brazil is in South America so we're gonna talk about the animals that live in South America but before we get started I'm learning a new welcome to story time song, a new hello song, and it's partly what we have learned in toddler story time all last year. We have the sign language for hello. This is how you say hello in sign language. So our opening song goes like this. This is the way we say hello, say hello, say hello. This is the way we say hello. Oh, this is the way we say hello when we start story time. I'll have to practice that one some more <laughs> and make sure. No, that isn't even how the song, I'm just all mixed up. We'll just say hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Tales and Tales of South America. Here is the book of South America and there's what the continent looks like. I was telling you, right up here is North America. This is where we are. Here's South America. We are going to do, I have six different animals I picked from South America, but we're not going to get to do all six of them because that's a lot. I'm going to start with this one. Do you see what kind of animal it is? It's the giant Galapagos tortoise. So here's how I'm going to start showing you the six animals we have for South America. Giant tortoise, giant tortoise, what do you see? I see... A toucan looking at me. Toucan, toucan, what do you see? I see. Did you say llama? It is a llama. I see a llama looking at me. Llama, llama, what do you see? Oh, I love this one. I see a do you know what that is anteater it's an anteater i see an anteater looking at me anteater anteater what do you see Ooh, i see uh is it a tiger no is it a lion no is it a leopard no is it a cheetah no, look a little closer. It's a jaguar. <gasps> I see a jaguar looking at me. Jaguar, jaguar, what do you see? Oh, I see a, uh, who can tell me what that is? Yes, you're right. It's a sloth. I see a sloth looking at me. Sloth, sloth, what do you see? I see a jaguar, an anteater, a llama, a toucan, and a giant tortoise. All animals from South America. That's what I see. Okay, we are going to start our first rhyme we're gonna start our first animal with the sloth. And for my first rhyme, I have five sloths I have to put on my board. So I'm gonna tape them up here. Will you count them with me as I tape them on? Here is one sloth. Did you know sloths hang upside down in trees? They do, kind of like a bat. They hang upside down. 
Here is two sloths, and they like to eat leaves. Well, let me get my next sloth up here. Here's the third sloth, number three, hanging from the tree. Sloth spend most of the day sleeping. They spend almost their whole day sleeping. I forgot to write it down how many hours it is, but they are sleepers. <gasps> There's my fourth sloth. Ooh, he's gonna hang right under here. There we go. And I have one more to make five. Here's my fifth sloth. There he is. Sloths are not fast animals. Sloths are very slow. So let's count them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five silly sloths sitting on the, or laying on the floor. One fell asleep. Uh-oh. He's not in the trees anymore. He's on the floor. One fell asleep. And that left one, two, three, four. Four silly sloths climbing up a tree. One fell down. Oh no, he wasn't holding on very well. There he goes. There goes that sloth. And that left one, two, three. Three silly sloths wondering what to do. I thought they sleep. <gasps> uh oh, one got lost coming down out of the tree. And then there were one, Two. two silly sloths having tons of fun. One got up and left. He had so much fun, he had to go somewhere else to take a nap. And that left one. One silly sloth was sad. The day was done. He went to bed out of that tree into another tree. And now there are none. No more sloths. Sloths move very slowly. They don't do anything fast. Do we have sloths in Sturgis? We don't have sloths in Sturgis, do we? Well, we're gonna find out because I have another song. Where did my sloth song go? I lost my sloth song. <gasps> Where did it go? Oh, well, maybe we won't do that. Oh, there it is. It's hanging up right in front of my face. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get everything all set up and I forgot where I put it. So I'm gonna put one sloth back up here on my board because we're gonna sing a song about the sloth. It goes like this. Does a sloth live in Sturgis? Live in Sturgis, live in Sturgis. Does a sloth live in Sturgis? No, he does not. Do you know where a sloth lives? Do you remember which continent I said we're talking about? Sloths live in South America. We don't have any in Sturgis. The only place you could find a sloth in the United States would probably be in a zoo. Okay, here's our sloth. Does a sloth move fast? The sloth in South America moves very slow moves very slow, moves very slow. The sloth in South America moves very slow because he doesn't move fast. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sloths, I found an interesting fact about sloths. Once a day, they will slowly climb down the tree they're sleeping in. They will dig a hole and they will poop in the hole, cover it up, and go back up in the tree. <laughs> that was so funny. Can you imagine a sloth slowly coming down the tree? Oh my goodness. Fact you probably didn't want to know. Well, does a sloth have feathers? The sloth in South America doesn't have feathers, doesn't have feathers, doesn't have feathers. The sloth in South America doesn't have feathers because he has fur. Another fun fact about the sloth, they will have green moss growing on their fur because they hardly move so much, moss will grow on them. So a sloth will get a greenish tint to him. 
I found that out on one of our databases when we were looking up things about animals. Okay, another thing about a sloth. Does he eat cheese and crackers? Ooh, do you think a, a sloth likes to have cheese and crackers? The sloth in South America doesn't eat crackers, doesn't eat cheese, doesn't eat crackers. The sloth in South America doesn't eat cheese and crackers because he eats leaves and insects and fruit. Could you be a sloth? Would you like to eat leaves? Ooh, no thank you. Could you be a sloth and like to eat insects? Ooh, no thank you. Could you be a sloth and like to eat fruit? Yes, fruit would be a good thing to eat, but I'm glad I'm not a sloth because I don't want to eat leaves and insects. Okay, do you remember some of those other animals I said were from South America? There is another one that in our song, I says, does a, does a sloth have feathers? He doesn't have feathers, but he does have another animal in South America that lives there with him that has feathers. It's the toucan. I think you probably already know my next rhyme. We've done this one a lot of times with different animals and different things, different birds. Well, this time I have my toucans. Here they are. They each have a name. One is named Brian, one is named Bree. My two little toucans are sitting in a tree. Here's how this one goes. Two little two, or two bright toucans sitting in a tree. One named Brian, one named Bree. Fly away, Brian. Fly away, Bree. Come back, Brian. Come back, Bree. <gasps> can we do it again? Can we do it one more time and see if we can make them go a little bit faster? Two bright toucans sitting in a tree. One named Brian, Brian, one named Bree. Fly away, Brian, fly away, Bree. Come back, Brian, come back, Bree. Okay, I know you don't have toucan puppets at home, so we're gonna use your fingers to be the toucans, and we're gonna see if our two bright toucans can go the fastest they can. Here we go. Two bright toucans look, sitting in a tree. One named Brian, one named Bree. Fly away, Brian, fly away, Bree. Come back, Brian, come back, Bree. Did you get your toucans to go flying all around? Unfortunately, I don't have any books in the library about toucans. We might have to look in a bird book. I haven't thought about that. Maybe I can find a book about all kinds of birds and see if we can find something about toucans in the story. Toucans are very bright and look at their big beaks. Their big beaks <laughs> look like they'd be very heavy. I would like to learn more about toucans. How about you? Well, I'm gonna put my toucans away because I wanna go to my next animal from South America. I have a song about this guy. What is he? He's the llama. So I'm gonna move my sloth to the side. Sloth is gonna watch this, this song. We're gonna put him right there. Cause we're gonna spell the word llama. Do you know how to spell llama? It's kind of different. It's oh, that's an L. Oh, we have another L. Llama. So to spell llama, you start it with two L's. L, L, A, M, A. That's how you spell llama. You might know some llama books like, oh, have you heard the story of, is your mama a llama? C, L, L, A, M, A. This book is so, so much fun because the baby llama is trying to find his mama llama. Is your mama a llama? And there are so many books about llama llama red pajama. You might have some of the llama llama books. Well, we're going to sing a song about llama and we're gonna spell it with the letters L L A M A. I bet you know what the song is already. It goes like this. There was a farmer had a pet and llama was its name. Oh, L L A M A L L A M A L L A M A and llama.
Mama was his name. Oh. Now I'm gonna get rid of one of the L's. So with the L missing, we have to clap our hands for this next letter. Are you ready? There was a farmer had a pet and llama was its name. Oh, L A M A, L A M A, L A M A, and llama was his name. Oh, okay. You know, in the song we get rid of the next one. So now we're going to have to do some clapping for the letters that are missing. Are you ready? There was a farmer had a pet and llama was his name. Oh, A M A, A M A, A M A, and llama was his name. Oh, okay. Here goes the third letter. Now we gotta do one, two, three claps. Are you ready? There was a farmer had a pet and llama was his name. Oh, M A, M A, M A, and llama was his name. Oh, here goes letter number four. Oh my goodness, we had five sloths. We had five letters in llama, but now we have to do one, two, three, four claps. Get your hands ready. There was a farmer had a pet and llama was his name. Oh, a a a and llama was his name. Oh, okay. Get rid of our last letter. It does not spell llama anymore. It just does claps. We have to do five claps. Are you ready? There was a farmer had a pet and llama was his name. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And llama was his name. Oh, okay. I'm going to put the word llama back up on the board. Can you help me spell it? What was the first letter? Tell me loud. <gasps> yes. L. What was the second letter? Another L? You're right. It is another L. Llama. What comes next? Oh, you said it perfect. It was the A. Llama. Mm, yes, M. Llama. A. How do you spell llama? L-L-A-M-A. -A. Very good. You did the llama. So we know a llama lives in South America. We know a toucan lives in South America. We know a sloth lives in South America. You know what? I have another song about an animal with fur. Now, a llama has fur, a sloth has fur, a toucan does not have fur, a jaguar. <gasps> a jaguar has some very distinctive fur, in fact. He's got spots, so do leopards and so do cheetahs. But if you look at a jaguar, the spots on his back, whoops, the spots on his back kind of look like a rose, like a flower. They call his pattern, his fur pattern, a rose. So if you are looking at a jaguar, you're gonna see he's got some black spots, but he's also got like the rose pattern on his back. Now, do you know some things about jaguars? Are jaguars small, like your pet cat at home, or are they big? Jaguars are very big. So our song says, the jaguar is a big cat. Can you make a big cat? You can't see my arms when I do big. The jaguar is a big cat. Hi-ho, the dairy -o. The jaguar is a big cat. Now, even though he's a big cat, how fast do you think he moves? Do you think he goes slowly like the sloth? Or do you think he goes very fast? Yes, I think he goes very fast too. In fact, the jaguar runs very fast. Can you run? The jaguar runs very fast. If you want to stand up and run, go ahead and get up and run. Hi-ho, the dairy-o, the jaguar runs very fast. 
Now that you've done running fast like a jaguar, come on back. Come on back, because we're going to find out. Does a jaguar swim? Do cats swim? Some cats like water, some cats don't like water. But guess what? The jaguar loves to swim. He's a very good swimmer. So show me how you swim. Can you make like swimming, fishing motion, fish swimming motions like this? The jaguar is a good swimmer. The jaguar is a good swimmer. Hi ho the dairy o The jaguar is a good swimmer. Oh, very good. He's covered in spotted fur, rose pattern fur. He's a big cat. He runs very fast. He is a good swimmer. One more thing. Where does he live? It's where we're talking about all the animals living today. He lives in South America. The jaguar lives in South America. The jaguar lives in South America. Hi ho, the dairy o. Oh, the jaguar lives in South America. Oh, I think it would be fun to go to South America and see these animals. Now, the two animals I don't have anything for us to do with today are the anteater. He is so fun. It's been so much fun to learn things about the anteater. Look at his big, long nose. Anteaters do not have teeth. They don't have any teeth. How do they eat the ants? Their long tongue comes out. It's kind of a sticky tongue, and it grabs up all those ants and swallows them up. He just slurps up the ants. Another fun thing about anteaters, look at his front feet. He has like three claws on his front foot and they're very razor sharp. In fact, if an anteater feels threatened, he will stand up on his two legs. His big fluffy tail will make him balance so he can stand up and he swipes at his pr the things that are coming after him with his claws. So you want to watch out for an anteater's claws. And since he has those sharp claws, when he walks, he walks with his feet under. So his claws don't scratch him. How interesting. I found a new book about anteaters. I'm going to add it to the library. I'm going to show you which one it is. But I also wanted to tell you, don't forget about the giant Galapagos tortoise. Ooh. Galapagos tortoises live a long time. I found another new book that I'm going to be adding to the library. I just got my new books yesterday, so they're not on the shelf yet. And it's about a Galapagos tortoise that lived to be 175 years old. Oh, <gasps> that is old. And you know what? I think you can see giant tortoises here, close to here, at Reptile Gardens. If you've ever gone to, if you go to Reptile Gardens, I think they have these big giant tortoises there. You could actually go see one. They don't normally live here, but in a zoo-like setting, there are giant tortoises. Well, let me show you some more of the books. If you want to read about South America, find out what is the country like, we have this book you could check out. I also just got this brand new one this year, Llama or Alpaca. How do you tell the difference? They look alike. We learned about it in story time this morning at Rally Point. We read this book and found out what is the difference between a llama and an alpaca? They look alike. How can you tell? You'll want to check out the book and find out. Of course, don't forget my Llama Llama stories by Anna Dudney and Is Your Mama a Llama by Deborah Guar Guarano. This is my new book I just got. I read it at Rally Point. I'm going to read it tomorrow at Rally Point too. So if you want to come to live story hour out at Rally Point, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, I'm going to read this book. What does an anteater eat? Don't you know what an anteater eats? It's really funny, a really fun book. When I get done reading it there, I will add it to the collection and you'll be able to check it out from the library. Oh, this one, slowly, 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 said the sloth. This is not a new book. We've had this book. In fact, this is written and illustrated by Eric Carle. And a very sad thing, Eric Carle just in the last couple of weeks died. So he will not be writing stories anymore. So I'm glad we have 
the stories we have. You probably know about the very hungry caterpillar. It's the same guy that wrote this one. Slowly, 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 said the sloth. And we cannot forget about our jaguar. This is a brand new book I just got yesterday. I didn't have any books about jaguars. So now I will have one. It tells you all the interesting facts about jaguars. And when I was looking on our library catalog to see if I had any books, I thought, oh good, there's one called Jaguar, the King of the Cats. And when I went to the shelf to get it, <laughs> this is what it was. It's the Jaguar car. So maybe you wanna learn about Jaguar cars too. Jaguar is not just a cat. <laughs> it's also a kind of car. I thought that was kind of funny. And here is the new book I got, Take Your Time. It's the tale of Harriet, the Galapagos tortoise. Harriet is about as slow as a sloth. Very cute book. I can't wait to get it in the catalog so you guys can come to the library and check it out. Now, if you like all those South American animals, there is the grab-and-go bag today that has two crafts in it. You will get to make a handprint sloth. And you will get to make a paper plate llama. These are in your bag. The instructions are in the grab and go bag. But if you wanna wait till one o'clock tomorrow, I will be here live showing you how to make them. Really fun South American animals. So you're going to find the paper plate you will need to make your llama. And I'm giving you some fun eyelash ribbon that you can use to wrap around the neck of the llama. So you might get some eyelash ribbon like this. There's some other kind of ribbon. I'm cutting up all different kinds to put inside the bags. So here are your instructions for the llama and the instructions for the sloth and pieces you need for your sloth if you wanna cut out the face and cut out the tree limb and cut out the leaves. I'll show you how to do it. You also need the brown paper to trace your handprint on to make your sloth. Then there's a dot to dot. Can you see the jaguar hiding in there? Put together the dot to dot, follow the um, dots, follow the numbers. See if you can count all the way up to, I'm not sure how far this one goes. Looks like it goes to maybe 37. And then when you get the dot to dot done, you could color in your jaguar. See if you can find him in the forest. On the back is a dot to dot for an anteater. <laughs> you like putting together those pictures, drawing and following the numbers. You can get two more animals. Then maybe you'd like to help the tortoise find his way to the sandy beach. Amazed to find your way. Get him from down here he starts up there without crossing over any lines. You gotta follow the lines in the maze. And then I thought I was getting a picture of a toucan, but it's not, it's a parrot. I wonder if parrots live in South America. So here is a picture you can color of the bird. Sorry, it's not the toucan. And then it's got the squares. If you cut it apart, it becomes a puzzle that you can put back together. So many fun animals to find out about from the, the continent of South America. I hope you will find some books. Maybe you can go online on the internet and find out some facts. Enjoy the songs that we did today. I hope you did. I enjoyed singing them to you. Come and get a grab and go bag. And if you can, join us tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock at, at Harley Davidson Rally Point, and I'll be able to read stories to you there. Have a great day. We'll see you later.